sometimes. And some of these bazillionaires are like, well, I worked hard. And I always want to say, you mean unlike anybody else? Uh, but I get it. You worked hard. You had a great idea. Yeah, or you inherited a great idea. Whatever. <laughs> A great fortune here in America. Good for you. Good for you. But I guarantee you built that fortune, at least in part, using workers all of us help pay to educate. to market on roads and bridges, all of us help pay for that. You built that great fortune, at least in part, protected by police and firefighters and military, all of us help pay so. And here's the thing, we are glad to do it.
things. Attack the corruption head on, right? Make some structural change in this economy and protect our democracy. we can connect up with these. Everything we need to do. We get a government that works for the people, then we start to make all the pieces work. We start to do the things that Americans want to see us do. We can do gun safety. We can protect our climate. We can protect our kids. We can provide health care for our people. We can do it all. But we have to start by attacking the corruption by structuring this economy and by protecting our democracy so it doesn't just represent a thin slice at the top, so it represents all of us. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. Pardon me. Those three things are deeply related to each other. The way I see it, they're about who in America gets opportunity. Who actually has a chance in this country to build something? Who, who has a chance? We can build an America where every child in this country gets a first-rate education. Think about that. for everyone to be treated with dignity. And here's why that matters so much to me. You know what I wanted to be, a teacher. And not in a million years did I ever think I would run for public office. But I'm here because I got the opportunity to be a public school teacher. I got the opportunity to be a college professor. I got the opportunity to be a United States Senator. And I got the opportunity to be a candidate for President of the United States. I can see it. Believe me. All right. 
Well, Robbie's over here. Okay. I'm over here. Okay. Uh, Trump is a crook and a racist and a creep. He's a lying, low-life BS artist operating a criminal enterprise from our White House. He steals money to prop up his failing private business. Now he got caught stealing taxpayer dollars as a bribe to prop up his failing presidency. But he still has his supporters. Some of them are our friends and our family. When Trump is voted out or impeached, and when you are president, how will you and how will we heal these relationships? Okay, great question, Robbie. So Robbie wants to know when this guy no. Robbie wants to know when this guy's gone. Robbie. And I've got to tell you, it's a question that's personal for me. Remember the three brothers? One is a Democrat. <laughs> Do the man. But I love all three of my brothers. That is the deal. And here's the part I remind myself of every day. We have differences, and look, some parts are way, way out there. But for most of America, we have a lot more in common than we do that's different. So, look at it this way. Right now in America, more than 90% of Americans want to see us put some sensible gun safety legislation in place. off our streets, make our children safe. More than 90%, and that's not more than 90% of Democrats, it's more than 90% of Americans. Democrats, Republicans, Independents, Libertarians, Vegetarians, all of them, right? So here's the thing, you need to ask yourself, you really have to stop and ask yourself, in a democracy, when more than 90% of the folks want a thing that they're pretty clear on, why doesn't it happen? Why can't we even get a vote on it? And the answer, corruption. So, so here's my pitch. And that is, when we're in, and we're gonna get there, when we win in November, We stay engaged, we hold our government accountable, and we push for the big changes that are important. When we pass gun legislation that most Americans want to see us pass, suddenly the world starts to look a little different. It doesn't just look like it's working for a thin slice at the top. It looks like it not only works for you, but it also works for your brother and for your neighbor who's worried and upset. So I see this all the way through. You know that Tuesday on Wealth Tax? Oh, when I go to bed at night, sometimes I think, this thing has happened, this thing has happened, then I think, two cent wealth tax. Turn straight against gay. Oh, 
and particularly trans, right? Turn Christian against Muslim and Jew. Turn everybody against immigrants, particularly immigrants of color. And so long as all across this country, people are turned against each other, he hopes that no one will notice how he and his corrupt buddies are taking the great wealth of this nation and lining their own pockets with it. But here's the deal. In a democracy, we can turn that around. We can pick up each other's battles. We can care for each other's children and for each other's grandparents. We can care for each other to be able to build a future in this country. We do that and we heal. We do better than we used to be. We become the America of our best values. we can build together. So thank you, Robbie. It was a great question. Thank you. All right. Who else we got? Is it back that way? Yeah. Okay. Hello, Senator. My name is Diana. Hi, Diana. And I'm a human rights from lawyer from Colombia. Yes. I would like to know your position in plans to handle the police brutality against black and Brutality against and black and brown people. All right. It's a good question, Ayala. 